All right, everyone. Next, we're heading to the Olin Quad, where students dive deep into the university's many engineering and science programs. Here, we have Julio Cristello waiting for us, a graduate of Florida Tech's most popular major, aerospace engineering, and a current system engineering master's student. He's gonna to talk to us about all the amazing hands-on projects Florida Tech students get to take part in. Julio, you're on. Thanks, Alex. I got my start as an aerospace engineering student at Florida Tech, and now I'm here as an alumnus pursuing my master's degree in systems engineering. If there's one thing you need to know about this university is that Florida Tech and hands-on experience go hand in hand. Our engineering programs immerse students in all sorts of environments from the earth with civil engineering, to the ether with software and computer engineering, from the water with ocean engineering, to air and space with aerospace engineering. Even the human body gets worked on by biomedical engineers. We build cars, robots, rockets, aircraft, and even 3D printed body parts. And since most of the programs extend up to doctoral levels, we have access to faculty and graduate students who are working on some really cutting edge projects. If you choose to be an engineer like me, you start in your major of choice from day one. This means you get to put project experience on your resume as a freshman. And that's just the beginning. Every semester you'll find yourself in a lab course where you'll learn how to put into practice the concepts you learned in class. Then of course comes senior design. Every engineering major is required to complete a senior design capstone project. Senior design is where you get to put to the test everything you've learned over the years. And most of this happens at the L3 Harris Student Design Center. My senior design was called the Mars Aerial Survey System, and it was a pneumatic drone launcher for rovers on the surface of Mars. The idea behind the project is that in the Martian atmosphere, drones would use most of their energy just in the takeoff section of their flight. So my team and I thought, instead of making the drone take off, why don't we launch it using a piston? My teammates and I spent months coding, soldering, assembling, and testing at our bench. The hours spent learning how to manufacture parts at the machine shop and learning how to make 3D models using CAD software were some of the most challenging, but also most rewarding hours of my life as an undergraduate at Florida Tech. Displaying our project alongside all the other senior design teams during the annual Northrop Grumman Engineering and Science Student Design Showcase was incredible. It allowed us to make incredible connections with lead engineers at Kennedy Space Center and even Professor Andy Aldrin, the son of famous moonwalker Buzz Aldrin, who runs the Aldrin Space Institute at Florida Tech. As a result, almost everyone on the team graduated with a signed job contract in their hands. The presentations, the team dinners, and the tests I've conducted with my friends are memories I will treasure forever. When I first started college, I would not have imagined I would have learned so much. I receive a lot of positive feedback from recruiters because at Florida Tech, I'm not only learning those engineering and communication skills that make us stand out, but also how to enjoy my work while working towards my dreams. Back to you, Alex. Julio, thank you, great job. What you are all getting to work on in the world of engineering is awesome. Thanks again. Cheers, Julio.